party, cheese party, and chicken party. Which one I bought this? I want to not tell you living truth right now, but boy, something with them cheese party, are you? I tell you. But I want to talk for you truth. Out of the beef party, the cheese party, the chicken party, which one better? No comment right now. Many commuters in many parts of the country have been left stranded as private transport operators have withdrawn their service. The protest is expected to last three days. The transport operators want the government to suspend the implementation of automatic suspension of license of drivers who accumulate 10 or more demerit points for various traffic violations among some complaints. There are reports of commuters being stranded or forced to walk to their destination in Portland, St. Elizabeth, St. Catherine, St. Thomas, and Westmoreland. Some roads have been blocked with debris. And I feel so hurt, you know. My mother died. I lost my mother yesterday. And I know that we all have to die one day. But when it's the negligence of the hospital system in Jamaica that led to the death, the sudden death of my mother, it hurts. And I, and I think people should know what is going on in the Jamaica medical system the health system is is rubbish it's garbage so i ask you to blast this for me put it over pink wall i need christopher tufton to see this video i need the prime minister to see this video and people need to see this video if your family member sick and end up at the hospital is that you can prepare plan funeral plan funeral my mother is Gloria Smith Paris from Falmer Trelawney, well-known, beloved woman, used to operate restaurant. She cook, give everybody. She got sick in the wee hours of Friday night, early morning. She had a stroke, two o'clock. She complained that the pressure is high and my father gave her the pressure pill. By five o'clock again, she get up herself, not responding, not talking. So they rushed to the hospital, the farmer's hospital. I reached at the farmer's hospital about 5.15. And listen to me well, I'm not making up any stories. She went to the farmer's hospital 5.15 a.m. Saturday morning. And when I got the call up my mom was ill, I reached at the hospital 5.30, we don't live together. And when we went down there, I said, all right. My neighbor took her down, so I took over from my neighbor and I said, all right, doctor, did she get anything? They said, look like she having a stroke, so she cannot get any medication. They have to do a CT scan. I said, all right, so let's get the CT scan done. Mom, there's no CT scan machine at farm water. Now listen to me. I said, oh, if you have a hospital without a CT scan machine, a big hospital, public hospital in Trilani, Falmouth. She said, we are in partnership with Radiology West, Montego Bay. And so we have to wait until Radiology West is open, 8 o'clock. My mother is in pain, you know. When they check my mother pressure, 235 over 119. She said, my head, my head. She said, my neck back. She said, pain. She said, go for me pressure pill in my brown bag. I said, we cannot give her anything because she having a stroke. I said, Lord Jesus, my mother is in pain. She said, my head. She said, my head, my head, my head. We said, all right. She wet up herself again. I said, somebody come help me change her. We change her off. We said, you have any more robe? They said, no, I said, Lord Jesus, she, the time she's taking off her clothes, she torment, pain in her head, she torment, she said, get me pressure pill, I said, mommy, so she in and out of consciousness, I said, mommy, you can't get no pill yet, we have to wait. We wait, we start car radiology, it's 8 o'clock, nothing, nothing, we said, but what can go, so she's suffering and she can't get nothing. We in, I'm watching my mother suffer and I say, I can't get anything, 8 o'clock, I said, doctor. Dr. Wilkins, I said, listen, it's 8 o'clock, no, the family is ready, so we have to pay for it. I said, money ready, let's go. Mom, you have to wait. I 
you say about Jesus? I said, what do you mean after work? You say the place open 8 o'clock. We're trying to call the place. I said, call the hospital. Mom, I cannot call yet because as you can see, I'm the only one working in emergency. What I said, that's not my business. My mother is suffering. I said, this is an emergency. You tell me to wait. I'm here from 5.30. She crying for her head. She waiting up herself. Oh God, my heart. You think it's easy to watch my mother suffer? Eh? We call, call Radio the US. We can't get them. The Independent Commission of Investigation says it is probing an incident involving members of the St. Elizabeth Police who were chasing a motorcyclist in Pepper on Saturday. A video shows the rider on the ground shaking after an interaction with two cops. Our Michigan Assistant Commissioner at Indicom confirmed the development on Sunday. Indicom is aware of this incident shown on social media video. We are in the process of investigating it and seeking to get the full facts. He told the news team. The amateur video 4 minutes and 31 seconds in length appeared to have been recorded by a person traveling behind a police chase. Two policemen, each on a motorcycle, were seen in the video seemingly trying to apprehend the rider, who was accompanied by a pillion signal to stop were not complied with. The bike with the two men appeared to have developed a skid on reaching a section of the road. It came to a stop very shortly after the side on the roadway. The cops stopped and walked towards the men. It's not clear from the video what happened next. The Pillion was observed on the side of the road. The video later shown the rider shaking on the ground in the bush nearby. One of the policemen was standing over him. At this point, the other cop was back on the road and using a phone. A crowd had also started together and some persons were heard urging that the man be taken to hospital. The policeman and another man carried the rider and placed him in a blue car that was parked on the opposite side of the road. Indicom said it did not have any information on the rider's status.